Spotlight is a production of CTNY, the Catholic television network of Youngstown. It seeks to spotlight people, places, and events from around the Diocese of Youngstown that promote the new gospel of joy called for by Pope Francis. Your program host is Father James Corda. Hello and welcome to Spotlight. I'm Father Jim Corda. Today I'm going to talk to Tia Saferno, who is the Executive Director of Bella Women's Center in Warren. Tia, it's a pleasure to have you back on Spotlight. It's so great to be back. You know, every time you're on, we learn more wonderful things about Bella, uh, more wonderful things about what you and the great staff are doing for uh, our women in need. Uh, how have, have things changed in the midst of this pandemic that we found ourselves in almost a year now? Um, yeah, um, as, as everybody else has been upside down and turned around, and <laughs> but we've just, one day at a time, uh, made the choices we need to make to serve the women that we mm -hmm. serve. Mm -hmm. So even uh, last year during the shutdown, we stayed open. Mm -hmm. um, in that time, from I think it was what March till June, mm -hmm. we served 71 women. Wow. And we were so excited yeah. to have been open. We had to trim the staff down to three of us, sure. which was smart. Mm -hmm. But I got to be more intimately involved in serving women rather than the admin and all mm -hmm. of that side. Mm -hmm. And it refueled my heart and my passion sure. for them and yeah. serving them. Um, even in the midst of that, we had some of the most incredible stories. Um, women in a lot of pressures, mm -hmm. new pressures because of the pandemic, sure. um, new fears. Mm -hmm. So we learned right along with them um, how to address those fears and sure. how to have them have a sense of peace in the midst of turmoil on the inside of her, but also externally in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so we just found in all of these months that their needs have increased. More phone calls, more urgency. Mm -hmm. I think women are more in a hurry to solve you know, an unplanned pregnancy mm -hmm. because they don't know where their support's coming from. Their own world is a little shaken right. up. Yeah, yeah, so Bella's been able to respond to that. Yeah. And it's been amazing. So proud of the staff yeah. and the team. There are heroes as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just so proud to be part of this. Let's talk about the, the main goal of Bella Women's Center. Uh, why do you exist? And uh, we know who you serve, but, but what's the why? Uh, the why behind it is to realize that there is a, there's a power in love. When any of us mm -hmm. are in a crisis, um, mm -hmm. there is a critical need that was not met without having Bella in the community of mm -hmm. women who needed pre-testing just to get information um, and, and someone to just sit and take a deep breath you know, with mm -hmm. and get accurate information on what's going on with her pregnancy. Is she even really pregnant? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. part of the reason we exist is as a medical clinic to give her free services, mm -hmm. to do ultrasound and make sure that the pregnancy is viable, STD testing, now we do treatment since I've been with you for free. Mm -hmm. And just have, a, her, have her have a place where she can sit and take a really deep breath, but also get critical medical information, dating of the pregnancy, is it even a true pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Pregnancy tests don't, aren't accurate for just that, you need ultrasound. Yeah. So just kind of this filling a gap um, for her yeah. right in her backyard. So it's very well received. The other thing that, that I like about Bella is that you've kind of branched out. You've shared your mission and your goal and yes. your uh, why with so many other people. Yeah. Talk briefly about those yeah. other groups. I could do that every day. <laughs> and I could be on your show for 10 hours <laughs> because uh, we're helping now a center in Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then we're launching a brand new center soon. Well, by you know the time this airs, it's going to be launched and open mm -hmm. um, in Mentor, Ohio. So we're finding communities wanting something that's this unique, mm -hmm. that's this just compassionate medical services that intervene at that very time that she needs us with no judgment. Mm -hmm. So this model, the why, um, yeah. is needed. And we love going to a community and sharing the story that we have from mm -hmm. Trumbull County. Yeah. I told someone last week, I, I feel like we've been given a jewel that we didn't mm -hmm. buy. Mm -hmm that God gave us, sure. that it's kind of what would his heart be toward that women, woman in that time. And so other communities like Lake County mm -hmm. have come to us and said, 
we don't have anything quite like this. They have wonderful things for like birthright, you know, sure. for parenting classes or mm -hmm. for material goods, but nothing for this moment in her life, that positive test that throws her in, in you know, in mm -hmm. a crisis mode. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really excited about the multiplication. Yeah. Ireland has been so fun to talk to. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know also that there's an organization uh, down south of us in the East Liverpool area. Yes. And then yep. there's one over in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Yes. Are those still viable? Oh, they're and doing great. great. And we started a new one in Astrobula, Maya. Wonderful. And they are, they're independent now. So we start them under yeah. our wing and then sure. they launch. But um, mm -hmm. those other ones, yes, they're doing wonderfully. We're so yeah. proud of them, like sisters. Yeah. And we help each other because we're all kind of the same approach. Mm -hmm. um, so you're talking about Ava, Sophia, Willow, Willow. which is in right. Mercer County. Mm -hmm. And we've helped a center in DC. So now we know that this model isn't just for a smaller community. It mm -hmm. also can be for a metropolitan area, yeah. meet the needs of the women and families there as well. We've got about two minutes left of our first segment. Let's say a woman comes to Bella. What do they do? How do they encounter you and the staff? Uh, what's, what's happening? It's so fun because I think they're really surprised at the beauty of these right. centers. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of, and you've been there, kind of like a medical yes. spa look. Right. Um, they can't believe it's free because it's all donor funded. Mm -hmm. But she's going to be greeted at the desk by someone who just gets some basic information. We don't take insurance information because there's no cost. Mm -hmm. um, we love on her guest. She's getting juice or coffee. Mm -hmm. um, little pack of chocolates and one of the women that we serve sits and they had the best snacks <laughs> um, but just a lot of hospitality right. to let her know her value before we even say a word to her mm -hmm. She's going to get meet with an advocate. She's going to meet with the RDMS, the RN, you know, mm -hmm. the nurse, get a medical history, um, but just kind of walk smoothly through it. Where the word that they use is um, beautiful, safe, calming. Um, sure. Some of the adjectives that they mm -hmm. use. So, and they find us online as we've talked before right. when they're just kind of searching for what kind of services are out there for them. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to have that? initial contact to be so compassionate because if you don't have it what's the alternative yeah all of us have yeah. encountered someone on the phone or even that front desk person sure. when we're in the middle of something mm -hmm. with our own house or an issue with our family yeah. and we know what that does to our heart when they can just be like mm -hmm. it's okay this has happened before to others you're not alone right. we know how to walk you through it you're gonna mm -hmm. be all right um, it's critical to get that kind of reception and our phones are answered. We, we take cell phones with us, we answer all the time. Mm -hmm. So we all know what it's like also to get a machine. Right. So we need a real person. Sure. So we're we we're gonna talk more about that in a moment, but we need to take a quick break. So please stay with us, we'll be right back. Discovering an unplanned pregnancy can bring questions. Where will you find solutions that are right for you? At Bella Women's Center, our licensed medical professionals embrace your concerns and answer your questions. You're looking for caring and confidential services. Bella Women's Center walks you through every step. At Bella, we know a little peace of mind goes a long way. So call today and schedule your appointment. When faced with an unplanned pregnancy, everyone needs a hand to hold. In this biblical year of the Pauline family, Renew yourself through the study and reading of the Word of God in the Sacred Scriptures. Deepen the Word of God in your life with the help of Scripture scholars like the late Father Jerome Murphy O'Connor in his CD presentation entitled, The Historical Jesus, Fact and Fiction. Father Murphy O'Connor challenges his listeners to be the answer to humanity's universal cry for justice and love in the world through the person of Jesus Christ. For more information, contact Brother Dominic at 330-533-2243 or email brdomctny at aol.com.
Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm talking with Tia Seferno from Bella Women's Center. You know, one of the things you mentioned in our first segment, Tia, was uh, this jewel that you, yeah. you believe you have. And, and what brought to mind was the whole idea of jewels and treasures are something not to be hoarded, but to share yeah. with others. Okay. And why is this so important to share the treasure of what you're doing with those who, who are in need in a critical moment in their life? Um, I think because it is unique and mm -hmm. we, it, it, we all know what it's like to try to start from scratch with something. We, we all mm -hmm. Google everything and find out how to do something. Right. It's wonderful to have somebody relationally to walk you through if you're starting this right. or changing your model of approach mm -hmm. that's already done it. So we love sharing it because of, of these reviews. I have one right here. She says, your services were very helpful in making my decision to keep my child. Gave me all options without judgment, and I'm so thankful. I was so scared in the beginning, and if it weren't for the center, I don't know what I would do. Like, mm -hmm. I've been doing this for um, 11 years, sure. and to hear this day after day after day gives us the excitement to do this sharing, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. if a community doesn't have this kind of model yet. Yeah. We just see that it's critical, and it is just some, we know it's God's heart. Mm -hmm. This is the way that he has compassion, he listens. Um, and we don't help, I know there's people that love the pro-life movement, we do as well, but we can't help reach a baby without reaching her first. Right. And so mm -hmm. that's, that's our side of it. Yeah. We just love to love on her. Yeah. And whoever's with her, boyfriends or parents or husbands, or mm -hmm. they're all in the swirl of this surprise person that's in their life mm -hmm. already, this unplanned yeah. pregnancy. So. And there's different emotions that they're experiencing <sighs> when they come. And you almost have to be aware of how to address each of those differently because yeah. everyone's different but everyone's the same. That's a good point. You know? It's so true. Yeah. And there is a like a flow to the appointment. It's short because right. we don't have good long attention spans and you don't mm -hmm. want to overload her. Right. But you're right. Fear is probably the number one. And none mm -hmm. of us makes a good decision in that flurry right. of fear. Mm -hmm. Time and education and just patience and talking yeah. and then these tests which are so revealing and critical. Mm -hmm for her. It just helps her take a deep breath. One thing I thought of even while I was driving here, mm -hmm. um, people talk about, okay, ultrasound she experiences, which she sees heartbeat of that child, but it's more helping her hear her heart. Yes, yeah. she hears heartbeat of her child. It, mm -hmm. Sometimes it really doesn't change her mind about her plans, yeah. but I think the one woman that we just did an interview with for our video said, you helped me hear my heart. Mm. And that's mm -hmm. what you really want to do. Right. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, we're going to listen to the hearts of some of the women yes. that you served. Uh, briefly set that up for us. Yes, you're going to hear an uh, um, assortment of women. We want people to know that this issue on planned pregnancies happen to a variety of ages and economic background. And um, we always say uh, um, babies happen in all kinds of wombs. So you're going to hear their story and how um, Bella's encountering Bella and the help God provided through Bella, respectful and beautiful, was exactly what they needed. We hope you enjoy this video clip. Abortion isn't going to be a pretty thing. And when I was considering it for my daughter, I didn't take the long-term effect into consideration at all um, for her, for myself, or my family. First when I was with my boyfriend, I passed through a lot of bad stuff with him. He even told me to abort the baby because he won't be there. The first time I was abort, cause that's one of the things when I go out of my mind. It's hard. Probably they're gonna think, how are you gonna think something like that? My story begins there in the Bedford Heights office with my daughter, Demetria Anthony, um, where she was preparing for an abortion. I just remember looking at my child and my child's eyes just constantly, I mean, tears just were just sitting there. They didn't want to drop, they just sat there. And I'm like, wow, you know? And then all of a sudden they called her back and I was all like, Demetria, why don't you, before you go, you know, I'm saying, look up another place possibly. Just, just look up something else. You know, it's gotta be a better way. I didn't know what else to do. And I think that's like one of the reasons why we came here because you, 
actually like offered like to talk about it and like the different like options and there aren't like a lot of places like that. I mean I was an emotional mess for weeks but um, I would say hearing the heartbeat and the ultra, having the ultrasound like in my hands to take with me was I mean that's something you can look at constantly and um, realizing that it's like a live human being and like they could be somebody someday. I mean that's what makes it real. That moment that just makes you like think entirely different. I've had ultrasounds before and this time I just my eyes were glued to the screen. I couldn't I couldn't look away and then I I saw it and I couldn't believe it. It was just this feeling of surprise and uh, and love. I just I just thought about the little life growing inside of me. I should say and the love that I have for her that started like at the beginning, I just didn't care what anybody else would say about it anymore. It touched me because I knew that this was a gift. It wasn't like a, like a, a mistake. It was a gift. I'm so glad. And I found you guys like I really do. Like I tell people all the time, I'll be like, I'm so I'm like I love them. They have like they help me through a lot. From automatically coming out and thinking I could never have a kid to actually having a child and never loving something so much. You definitely saved my life and you saved my son's and you've changed so many things and I feel so like forever connected to Bella because of it. My wife went back and uh, they came out and they said, oh, the baby's moving, he's here, he's blah, blah, this and that. And I screamed, what? You know, and I said, I gotta go. And I just prayed and I walked back out. The baby stays. No, no ifs, ands, but the baby stays. I was gonna keep my baby. You guys gave me confidence knowing that it was still okay and I could move on with my future and still do what I want. It's just going to be a little bit of a harder task, but I always know I'm gonna have the support. Almost every day I think about um, the thought of not having her and if I would have terminated this pregnancy, um, just with how complete she makes our family feel and how much happiness and surrounded with us, with, with having her. I just, oh, I just couldn't imagine her not being here. You've made me feel secure and loved. And that's what anybody needs, is to feel loved and secured. This was God showing me his unconditional love. And I'm looking down at this beautiful, perfectly healthy, seven pound, six ounce baby, and all she wants is my love. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have the Bella Center. I don't know where I would have turned. It's just like amazing to see your hard walk. Like outside of your body. Um, she didn't take anything from me. I gave her life, but she saved mine. She did. Thank you to everybody who supports Bella because you all make it possible for us to be here, for her to be here for Bella to be here, <laughs> um, the other babies, yeah. Without this place, she might not be here, I don't know. I think um, I think Bella may be at least very instrumental in the reason for her being here today. I was afforded the opportunity to go back and to see that little heart flickering. <laughs> There's no way you can't tell me God did not reach down and actually orchestrate all this. This is what, this was his plan, this is his testimony. And that child, Nyla and Demetra, will actually serve his purpose. Yeah, I could have avoided my daughter, but I mean, she's this awesome little girl who brightens everybody's day. I believe that at the end of the day, I made the right decision. To come and watch, like, just joy in the home, to watch how this baby has brought so much love. Bella allows a person to be that person. From their most vulnerable to their, what they believe to be their most strongest point, Bella provides that. You are allowed to be you.
is the place. <laughs> if I had to give it, Bella is the place. Who can, who's the sponsor? We, they need to be seen. <laughs> like, can we get more money into this? It's fun, Bella. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Discovering an unplanned pregnancy can bring questions. Where will you find solutions that are right for you? At Bella Women's Center, our licensed medical professionals embrace your concerns and answer your questions. You're looking for caring and confidential services. Bella Women's Center walks you through every step. At Bella, we know a little peace of mind goes a long way. So call today and schedule your appointment. When faced with an unplanned pregnancy, everyone needs a hand to hold. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm talking with Tia Seferno from the Bella Women's Center. You know, that clip that we saw uh, just tells so many different stories, yeah. uh, but that also tells the story of Bella. Yeah. And those stories are really intertwined. Mm -hmm. And isn't that kind of indicative and a metaphor of how we as human beings have our stories intertwined and how important that is when we talk to someone who is fearful or in need or comes with that particular need to Bella. Yeah, and we've known that this past year, haven't we? Yes. How complex we are sure. and the tapestry of what makes us mm -hmm. think and believe different things. And so yeah. at Bella, yeah, um, I love how our team um, treats everyone as if they were the only one walking in the door mm -hmm. that whole week. Um, she gets such a focus because we don't know her story. And in one hour, how much do you really learn? So yeah. we stay really open, and I think the women feel an instant disarming of any kind of fears because they can tell we're not there as a job right. we're there as a, a real calling we've all been mm -hmm. in places that she's been in yeah. so mm -hmm. meeting her right there is just a joy yeah. tell uh, us about some of those people that come to you uh, some of the faces some of the uh, <coughs> what when you see in those faces uh, what would we see? Yeah, even with a mask on, which is <laughs> in and out with that, but <clears throat> they will um, sometimes have a lot of fear in their eyes, mm -hmm. not know, really even know who we are yet. They've only mm -hmm. dealt with us on the phone and had a compassionate voice and thought, well, these are services that I need before I make any decision. Mm -hmm. But um, we love to watch the, uh, the change in their countenance as they're mm -hmm. walking mm -hmm. through. Exactly, one woman said, you gave me everything I didn't know I needed. Isn't that like the Lord? Sure. We don't all mm -hmm. know what we really need, but uh, she was so grateful for what she received at Bella. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that calm presence. Yeah. So in <clears throat> during the uh, shutdown when we were serving, we had a woman who came in who was being very pressured by the boyfriend mm -hmm. to um, choose to terminate the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And she, she didn't, her heart wasn't telling her that, but she found yeah. Bella realized that she needed the pretest no matter what. Mm -hmm. She came in, she served, we were interacting with him in the waiting room and mm -hmm. educating him. He still stayed the course with the pressures he was feeling. Mm -hmm. But um, because of the education she received and the empowerment sure. to, to hear what she really wanted, um, she had the strength and left with this joy that, we, we would be there for her if, if he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And um, those babies have been born and yeah. are, are doing really well. They were twins. Yeah. I gave you the plural. Double, <laughs> double blessing. She saw twins sure. on the screen. <laughs> so we were able to be there and be in her corner and then help her mm -hmm. afterwards. We had donors who gave car seats and cribs and actually probably got 10 cribs. We mm -hmm. didn't need them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The right. donations pour in when you realize there's a need. Right. You know, this, this whole <clears throat> sense of being alone, uh, and we've, we've experienced that with this pandemic, uh, we have all known people that have been kind of isolated. What does that do to the human heart when one is feeling so alone and so dejected, so like powerless? Yes. 80% of women said that they would not have chosen abortion if they had not felt so mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it elevates fear and it makes you feel that when you're isolated sure. that there's no true answer for you, mm -hmm. that you're the only one going through it. But yeah. um, I myself walked through a surprise pregnancy. I know those emotions. Sure. And to have someone walk, I mean, one thing an advocate can say to them is you, sometimes they're feeling like they, they would be ashamed to tell you their story. Sure. And one of our women said that. She says, but I all of a sudden just felt like I could. And in yeah. telling that, realize that she's one of so many with so many of these similar stories. Sure. She's not by herself. 
then mm -hmm. when you know that, you know that there's there's some answers for you that are, right. we like to say non nonviolent answers to mm -hmm. an unplanned pregnancy right. and help her to to find her heart and all that. But you're so right. They, yeah. It's it, good. And it's almost giving them kind of the power to uh, respond in a positive way yes. for themselves because they do feel so inadequate. And, you know, how how stripped one is when they don't have that power to decide for themselves. Exactly. And what Bella doesn't want to do or any of the centers that we've coached or supported mm -hmm. or started is be one more voice pushing. So sure. she has enough of that. Right. These women are going to be hearing, like you said, mm -hmm. from so many telling them what to do, like the mother of the twins. Yeah. So being able to be in a place where she can really hear for herself and realize mm -hmm. she can do it. Yeah. Um, and I think you saw that on the video that we showed. Right. They, they just yeah. have a joy to know, wait a minute, I wasn't alone and I made this decision and I would have never, I'm so glad it didn't it didn't go another way. Sure. So. We've got about three minutes of our time together. Uh, one thing that I would like the folks that are with us to know is that this is totally uh, funded through private donations. It is. So let's talk about that. We know that usually in the fall and October you have your fundraisers. Uh, tell us about that and how important that is and how people can give to Bella if they feel so moved. Yeah, they can go to bellateam.com if they're interested. Um, if there's a, a center like us in their area, give to that, of course. Mm -hmm. But we love interacting with the community and educating mm -hmm. on the women's side of this, because sometimes we sure. don't. We think a lot, which the baby is paramount and important, of course. Mm -hmm. But we, if we don't understand her heart and her fears right. and struggles, I, I love having conversations with the community. Mm -hmm. And then they respond by saying, this is so needed. Like, right. or why didn't we have this before? And they want to support either monthly or with one-time gifts, but it is astounding what it costs mm -hmm. to provide medical services. We have RNs, we have highly trained, wonderful sure. specialists under a physician, but um, mm -hmm. the money always comes and it's because yeah. of faithful people like our listeners who yeah. say this is important. Yeah, and it's, uh, it really is important to have that in our communities, but it's also important to uh, not only share that same goal, but to provide the treasure and the gems mm -hmm. in order to make that treasure continue to grow and to build. Uh, in our last minute or so together, what has been the greatest joy for you? And I know meeting There's with so the women, but what, what is one of the paramount joys in your life? I think finding um, how God's compassion shown through Bella touches even people that come and do a tour or people mm -hmm. that come to one of our banquets. They mm -hmm. realize that he's that God to them. And it just, it shines. You're talking about a treasure and a jewel. Sure. That's what his love is like. And this is really showing him off in his mm -hmm. true character of, of just such incredible compassion and love to do something like this. Why is God so important in what we do? He, gu he guides every decision that we make, right. and, and, and he's the essence of all of life. And, and he understands the pressures that these women are under and the families. So I, I love talking about Bella because it, it brings a God that can sometimes seem so distant very sure. close. Tia Saferno, always a pleasure to have you on love our programs here. and for enlightening us once again during this uh, difficult time about the great work that you're doing with Bella. Thank and we, you for having me. God bless we you and it. the wonderful people that work with you. Thank you so much. And thank you for being with us. Have a good day and God be with you. Spotlight has been a production of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. Your program host, was Father James Corda.